Hi, welcome to Over Amster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up this Ancrest Pro HD 960p wireless IP camera, the model's IPM-HX1. First thing is, take the power cord that came with it, plug one end to the USB wall adapter that was provided, and the other end, just plug it to the back of the camera, the power port. Once it's plugged in, the LED will be red over here, and the boot process takes anywhere from 30 to 35 seconds. When it's done booting up, the LED will be a blinking green. You can also take this time to go to the Google Play Store on your Android device and download the Ancrest View Pro app. It is free. Or you can go to the iOS App Store on your either your iPhone or iPad and also download it too. It's finished booting up. I'm going to launch the Ancrest View Pro app. Now, I can access my devices on upper right over here. Let's press that. Is device list. I can either hit the plus button over here or hit the add device to add this camera. There's more than one way. I can also go to this icon right over here, then go to device manager, add it this way as well. And go to add device. I'm going to choose Wi Fi camera because this is a Wi Fi camera. Now, the most common way of setting up these type of cameras is, is using the first choice, but you can also set up using Ethernet. There is an Ethernet port on the back of this camera over here or the audio sync. If this camera was set up previously for a certain Wi-Fi, you can always say add connected device. But now I'm going to choose this one up here, Wi-Fi configuration setup. I can either enter the serial number manually or the easiest way is scan the QR code on the back. And once you scan it, it takes me to this page. I'm going to give my device a name. I'm going to call it Hex. Q. Now the username and password, this is the default admin admin. It's already been populated and hit next. It grabbed my wireless name directly from my smartphone, my iPhone here. I just need to put in the password. After entering my Wi-Fi password, I'm going to go to next. So now it's trying to transfer the information to this camera. Camera successfully connected. I'm going to hit start live view. It only took about like, was that, 20 seconds or so. So since this is the first time I'm connecting this camera, it wants me to change the username, well the password, away from the default, which, is at, which was admin. So I'm going to pick one of my own personal passwords. After entering my new password, I'm going to hit OK. No, I don't need to walk through this. Hello. view it this way too. Let me just show currently let's go change it to HD. That was standard def. I'm going to change it to high definition. Much better. I can also turn on the microphone. Testing one two. Turn on speaker. Hello there. Hello there. I'll stop that for the feedback. Now the pan tilt, it's not going to work because this camera doesn't have the pan tilt. But it does have night vision. I'm going to turn off the light. It took about five seconds. Now the night vision kicked in. Let's take a look at the Android device. I'm also going to launch the Ancrest View Pro. I'm also going to add it here. I mean, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. So I'm connected only through cellular network. I'm going to go to this device list, add a device, Wi-Fi camera. But this time, I'm going to click on add connected device and go to PDP setup. Because this camera has already been added to my home Wi-Fi. I don't need to choose the other method. And scan a QR code. Now, let's say that someone far away in Maryland, for example, or in some place on some other country you can also just email them the serial number on the back and they can just enter it manually, give them a username and password and they can start viewing this camera. They don't have to scan it. But if you are in the same home, same house, same room, scanning is just faster. So populate it with the serial number. I'm going to hit next. I can give this camera a name. I'm going to call it 
Lap. All right, it's good enough name. Username. Well, this time I'm going to choose a admin, which is the username I had. But for the password, this will be the password that I just changed it to, the new password, not the default, the new one I gave it before. Before. All right, I put in my new password. And I'm going to start live view. It took about 30 seconds or so, but it was it took quite a while. Cancel the feedback. And just a little reminder, currently Wi-Fi is turned off. I'm only connected using the AT&T 4G LTE network, the cellular network. So anywhere that I have access to the open internet, I can view this camera remotely. So the iPhone, for example, this one is still connected through Wi-Fi. Connecting it through to a cell network, there's a slight delay. Not that bad, but just a slight delay. And same thing, I can speak into the microphone. Oop, feedback. And talk into this. Talk into this. Turn that off too. And change it to HD if I wanted. Or standard def. There's plenty of options to choose from. I can take a snapshot, record video, turn on or cycle through the night vision whether on or off, rotate it, the image, for example, flip it, invert it, however I want, mirror it. The initial setup process to add this camera to my home Wi-Fi and to be able to view it from my mobile devices took less than five minutes. Now I can view it on my cellular network or on Wi-Fi network. It was very simple using their app, which is the Amcrest View Pro. It's free on both the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now to access the full rate of functionality for this camera, I'll recommend logging in through the web interface using a web browser on either a Windows computer or a Apple computer because there you can access, for example, scheduled recording, uh, recording to the micro SD card, to a NAS server, uh, just, just so many options to choose from adjusting the microphone gain, speaker volumes. So when you get a chance, definitely check that out. You can also create additional accounts too, which you cannot do on the smartphone app. So stay tuned, I'll be making a review video of this. As usual, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.